All right there, folks, we are back on campaign. A little bit of time has passed since the, the last episode. Not all that much of consequence. It's been uh, holding pretty straight. There were two, two somewhat small battles. Uh, I know one was here. Union Army came around, and uh, we sent him back. It actually ended up being more interesting than I, I thought it was, but I didn't think it was worth recording. So that was it. Um, there's another one I think that was even smaller than that and uh, less significant. <laughs> but it's it's kind of a lot of waiting around. And uh, kind of just appreciating the smoke from the trains. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're, we're hanging out. We got a little while uh, before a lot of stuff is done. I mean, Construction Act 2 takes 16 days. So basically, right around November, we'll have that done. Uh, and then actually, for real this time, might be able to get to work on some of this other stuff I've been meaning to do. Uh, I got the parrot rifles between the last episode and this one, and so I put in a, orders, I think, for 16 of the 10, 20, and 30 pounds, but they're going to take like four or five months. So that's where we are on that. Finance-wise, we're okay. Right, we're we're kind of just okay. Uh, I spent one round of industry subsidies just upgrading the nation's industry by 5% rather than upgrading another coal mine, which maybe I should do. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was that was about it in terms of military stuff. One thing I'm looking at doing is maybe, maybe doing the artillery reform. Uh, not too sure about that, and I'm also... Not too sure about what our, our overall numbers are, are going to end up looking like. Now, I just saw the Army of New York that was sitting some around up here, uh, around Covington. I don't know if they're actually there or not. Savannah Squadron is all sorts of amphibious. I think they've just been bugged out the whole, the whole thing. So we'll see what they find. Uh, but I very much kind of adopted the, the defensive posture now that we kind of threw them out of the liberated states of Missouri and Kentucky. Uh, their national morale really hasn't changed much, I think, in the last few weeks. Uh, even though we've largely been unengaged. Their men fielded went down, went back up. Uh, our men fielded has crept up from like 93 to 97,000. It's, it's a pretty slow go. And uh, yeah, that's kind of just where we are. I thought I saw some stuff over here flash blue, so I don't know if there's a Union incursion or what's going on, so I'm sending some armies around to, to just go monitor that. It, it, it is a little odd that all most armies have at least two perks. Many are on their way to three, and yet almost no units have any perks in any army. I think it's just... It, it was some sort of balan balancing decision, so... Yeah, we are trying to hold tight here and uh, focus on policies, development, but also have some sort of reserve of people that uh, we can draw on. When this gets, when this construction uh, act goes through, you know, national morale minus two doesn't really matter because we're so, we're, we're good on morale. We, we can live with the minus two. Uh, but we're going to get our replacements back into these units 50% faster. So that's that feels like a significant help. And, uh, you know, we're going to go for it. It also dawned on me that if I just wanted to end this campaign, I could just move right into D.C. And that that should be the end of that campaign. Uh, I don't feel like doing that, so we're, we're not going to. But... Uh, I'm trying to figure out where they are. A lot of these are reading that there's a supply problem, supply shortage, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure I really believe it in a lot of those cases, and I'm not even really seeing any army over here. Well, maybe here, but I think it's the same old army that was hanging out at that landing there. Uh, I guess we'll throw some of these on scout and see if we learn anything. New and different. We don't want to take them into battle like that because then they have the reinforcement delay. But I think most of those armies also have a a perk related to scouting, so that's that's fine. And do we have any sort of well, looks like something's going on in Cincinnati, which I guess it is 
it is theirs, and so we certainly can let them have it. And the thinking about getting these two armies together, just running over and doing our own kind of raid and just raiding their supply depots, I, I like it as an idea. I don't know if that kind of qualifies as abusing the AI because they just build too many supply depots. But, I mean, it is, it's something to do, right? I don't know why the balance bar has me so far over here. Look at this, I don't really see it. All right, military experience is pretty close. Battles won, yeah, all right. Total casualties is as close as it's ever been. Uh, certainly in terms of a ratio, uh, it's the closest it's ever been. So I'm not sure why some think so highly of, of that, but that is what it is. Over here, are we learning anything? So I don't see them at all. I don't know, maybe, maybe the devs. Oh, I wonder if I know what I did. <laughs> All right, so one of the things I did before I, I loaded this in was I changed settings in the battle preps, okay, not not campaign preps. Uh, if you've been watching, yeah, that looks exactly like what's going on. And, uh, battle AI is, is, is better than it's been, uh, certainly. Oh no, there must be a unit here in order to get a supply depot there. All right, there's something, there's something more going. We'll have them investigate poor, uh, poor Porterfield and his forces. They just get run everywhere. Come on, we're going with double, double time here. Uh, we're gonna stop scouting. Have them stop scouting as well. Until they're likely to get there first. All right, move them over. We'll rotate Johnston over. Uh, this army, this opponent, by the way, is the one army I have that actually has, like, decent, decent ranged options. Uh, I think I'm going to move Overguard up here. And maybe Hampton's Division up here so they have a healthy, healthy route to retreat. You know, I say that, yet Porterfield's army, I know it's smaller, but what else could we do? I'm trying to give most some sort of ambulance thing. Up. You know what? We're gonna give him foot cap because we're treating him like foot cap anyways. So you know why not? Uh, but I am trying to give most of mine the ambulance perk. The reason is, jeez. Uh, Do we have it? Okay, they don't because I wasn't too sure about it. But one of the reasons why ambulance corps is good, speed reduction due to wounded soldiers is, is huge. Right? Speed absolutely kills. That's why, even though we're outnumbered, uh, the AI kind of makes two mistakes. It doesn't attack together, and we try to gang up and, and, and get on them. So ambulance perfectly. Everybody remembers, right? Oh, you know, mortality rate of wounded goes down, so, you know, more of them will return to service. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, but really, the, the fact that you can travel quicker with more wounded is, is a big advantage. All right, so this is where the Army of New York has gone. There are only 10,000 of them. I say that like it's not a big deal. It is kind of a um, look, while we're here, right, while we're here, let's just do this, let's stay together, let's not scout, oops, I don't know if I clicked that off in time, alright, hopefully I did, move, uh, actually we're going to move Savannah Squadron down here, I want to try to keep an eye on this force, I'm not exactly sure where it's going, it's almost to the point where might have to run Hampton's division back to deal with it. Uh, so we don't have an option to deploy to defend. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh, but it doesn't. It doesn't feel like we need to retreat either. So they got four thousand. We got almost nine thousand. We're gonna go ahead and play it and see. See where we. And we'll see how this battle thing works out. But anyways, I, I changed the settings as I was saying. I was changed the settings in the battle preps file. There are actually several that I changed, but the, the basic gist of it was to make the capture range of whatever the objectives are larger. 
can to make them count for more, I think, or, or to let them accumulate victory points more. And then I change the numbers also to make morale count as much as the size of the forces on the field. My sense is that sometimes the morale is, it counts for a bit more than I think it should. Uh, so I, I really have no idea how this is going to go uh, at all. But I did also mess with the distance. But I think now the capture range was like 100 before, and I think I made it 300. And the maximum distance between them was like 400, so I turned turned that up. I, I don't know how it's going to play. I, I really don't. Uh, on maps like this where it kind of looks like we have somewhat low readiness, it might be a chore. I'm just reading the roads here to figure out what our best... I guess we'll do this like we, we should do anything, right? Work our way backwards. Uh, Old Town Road. Uh, so I remember fighting battle when, when they were back there before. There are probably pontoons over here. Um, so maybe we want to get over here. Maybe. And there's no path that way. So I think this is how we're going to deploy. And we'll just see what happens after that. We're going to try to move like that. Uh, yeah, and just so we don't we don't get stuck. I mean, they might might forward deploy here and, and mess with us. Now, how we built pontoons that are that far away, I will never know. Uh, and it looks like nighttime is going to roll on through and uh, cut this short. So we're in Cincinnati. It's late October. These should be pretty pretty short days, so we'll see where HQ lines up, and then uh, we'll, we'll probably redeploy within that. Uh, one thing I did not do in the, the hiatus between now, the last video and this video, I probably should have sent the cab units back to replenish, uh, because they've been sitting around with three, four, five hundred guys in it, and we should have close to 2,500, but their home states were also struggling to, to get a lot of those numbers, so we'll see. So, we're learning now this is what happens when you do the thing that I said to do. Uh, the bar really moves really moves against you uh, for not holding holding those victory points. But we'll see just how much. Mm, it's, it's quite a bit. It's probably way, way too much. I increased it by a factor, I think, of almost four. So... I'm a little surprised, but I don't know that it will run us all the way to defeat, but that's why we're trying it. It was like, it doesn't matter what it was. It, it, I increased it by a factor of almost four. Um, I would think with a two to one advantage, that would also weigh favorably, but they do have a morale advantage, so there's all that stuff going on. But uh, I don't know, it just didn't, okay. So end of day looks like that. Fine. We'll uh, we'll deploy up there. Hopefully nobody's in a spot they're not supposed to be. But it just kind of felt like one of the things that's missing from the game that would seem to make it... Uh, this is a glitch. There was a recent patch on the development branch, and so uh, it's just a glitch that's showing up. It, it's, it's, it is what it is. But it doesn't seem like terrain matters all that much. And it seems like morale is ev everything. Uh, you know, overall balance of forces to me also kind of feels a little bit a little bit undercounted. Uh, but this is just a blind tech. Oh, wait. That's why, that's why everything's moving so slow. So, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll kind of learn as I do what happens when you make, when you change several things simultaneously. But... Uh, yeah, it didn't feel like holding key ground really really mattered that much, and the attackers didn't really have to come forward. This kind of feels like one of those cases where it's a little bit a little bit different because we're just we're just on the road to get them. Uh, you know, we're not doing what the AI does or has done in the past. I haven't noticed it so much recently, where it'll sometimes just camp there for for almost ever, and it's like, come on, man. But we'll see. We'll see if holding the the key ground is enough to just run us out of our run us out of victory points completely. 
I also thought with these that one was like the primary objective and the other was like a secondary objective, but those are both worth five, so I'm not. So that, that obviously is not true. Uh, all right, we'll continue the advance. I'm doing this blind, mostly because I'm recording, and uh, I'm just trying to do it somewhat quickly here. But see, look, we're capturing it all the way back here. So if, if they're not even near that objective, then then we start capturing. So, because I don't know, it just seemed a little odd, like you have to be pretty darn close to the thing. I don't know, it just didn't seem right to me. All right. No, for real, Chase, like you need you need to move, man. So that should, I think, maybe slow down our, our, our pace of defeat. Now that if we are split five to five, now things should hold about where they are. Uh, we're gonna get up here, we're gonna get right on it. But this would allow us to, you know, they could potentially contest it from like over here. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so that is weird. <laughs> All right, so so I have to I have to turn it down. Like three hundred is too much. I'm capping Open Creek from here just because I have more guys. So it's the the kind of balance of forces. All right, so whatever it was, I think maybe it was like a hundred or fifty, and I think I cranked it up to like three hundred. So that that was a bit much. Um, I guess somewhere in the middle would probably be right. Maybe maybe 150. Just just go from there. But I, I didn't like that you had to basically be right on the point in order to to kind of capture it. it, it I don't know. It just didn't feel feel right to me. Um. All right. We'll get our cav scouts down. I don't know. From playing this battle once before, the AI kind of hid. I should write along that that creek bank, and then they may well have done that again. I thought I started with you know, the battery, but I may not have. A lot of my army, several of my armies don't don't have any. Uh, okay, they've moved up. Let's just check our condition real quick. We're not in a rush now. Okay, we're all mixed muskets, good, well rested. But you can see, like these units have been in, I would say, at least three battles that I've fought with them. So. And, and uh, like at most, it looked like they had maybe half the way towards their first perk. I don't know. It's just they seem more veteran than that. If I could get rid of these circles, <laughs> this is, I'm not gonna have to worry too much about them in this one. And that's why I'm keeping this bar out too. So uh, I just want to see how, how some of those settings play, but Huh. I do not see them at all. So I don't know if there's like a th wow, they are way over here. Well that's a very, hmm, maybe it's because I changed those settings. All right, so I'm going to have to get myself reconstituted here. Now they're kind of stuck. Yeah, I guess this is just one of the things that still seems frustrating. I don't know if I need to do it or not, is that they don't recognize that they've been flanked. They're not. They're not responding to it. I think there is something you can do with that in the the battle preps, but obviously I'm not. Have, haven't figured it out. So they're just kind of content to sit there. This also feels like one of those situations. One of the things that the AI is not, in my view, doing as well as it has in some previous patches is know when to get out of dodge and just pull back. I mean, at this point, right? The numbers are against you. The victory points are against you. Uh, they do, they do have the morale advantage, right, they do have the morale advantage, okay, uh, we are going to put out some skirmishers, 
what I expect to continue is the uh, the practice of sending out skirmishers and then giving my mixed muskets guy. Uh, you know, I'm pr I'm probably just gonna go with short range. We can always increase it to. Long I think we can always increase it to long range. I was doing some experiments, and that was one of the reasons I didn't. The other video showed. I remembered it was on the uh, Antietam map, and. Uh, it was like 50,000 of me versus 10,000 of them. It was another one of those where I don't know why they didn't just withdraw, especially since my army, everybody showed up at the same time from the beginning. It wasn't like, oh, you know, there was an opportunity to, to knock me out early. No. Uh, so that was odd. But it, it felt like one of those, they, they definitely should have just left. And by sticking around, they took major losses. Uh, so, so that's one thing the AI could could do better is just pull out before you take take big losses. And the other thing the AI needs to work on because the battle AI really has improved uh, is just on the campaign map. They gotta they gotta keep their armies close together, or or they just have to rush. What is it the uh, the army reform that gives them core so that they can kind of stick together. Or at least benefit from one another. I think yeah, the skirmishers always come in at, at long range. That that's handy. Uh, and as long as everybody's like formation and stuff are good, I'm, I'm I'm not on the clock anymore. But I'm also not I'm not gonna sit back. Yeah, looks like everybody's pretty good. So once Buckner gets in place, I think we're gonna send. Probably McCullough here, Ripley here, Buckner around the side, and then keep Anderson and the cabin reserve. That keeping the cabin reserve for a morale buff has worked out quite quite well. Uh, previous previous battles, so and if it ain't broke, I shouldn't try to fix it. Put McCullough there. Oh, but one thing I did find in that Antietam battle. That it seemed like once a unit was engaged, they couldn't reduce their range. Even though they, they were re they were shooting at, I think, a long range, and I wanted them to shoot at short range, they, they would not change it once engaged. So if you want to go to short range, you got to kind of do it before you make contact. Otherwise, you have to, I, I think you have to break contact and then come back and do it again. Keep an eye on how this moves. I mean, now this is still kind of interesting because I set it to weight morale is 50, and I think it was 70 or something. And I increased the balance of forces, which I think was 32. I brought that to 50. So. Obviously, the morale factor still matters more than that because I have just more objective points. They have seven more morale. Apparently, I've taken some losses here. So, if they. Uh, anyhow. Okay, so one mistake I made. I'm trying to get better at this. It's just to move everyone, especially the laggards, like the, the, the party you were waiting for. You got it. You got to make sure that they're moving double quick. Uh, you move them a lot in the double quick. They do get tired faster, but it's got to be quite a bit. And like, I, I don't know why they're not reacting. To what's going on? Okay, they're moving up the double. Yeah, they're gonna stand over there on the flanks. Skirmishers are skirmishing. You can expect to see that. Hmm. And now things have kind of in our favor. I guess somebody routed. I don't know who. But they might only have two brigades. Maybe we just skirmishers? I have no idea. Alright. Poor Ripley. But you gotta, you gotta go in. No, that's not really I want to move you up there, and I want to 
<laughs> I can't quite do it. There we go. That'll have to do. Okay, keep the cab close. Those guys in reserve. We can recall our skirmishers at this point. Kind of just obstructing. Yeah, I guess they've already been recalled. Alright, we're gonna keep the command up. Yeah, I meant to bring these guys in the flank. That did not happen. Huh. I wonder why I cannot recall them. Maybe, maybe they're just engaged. I don't know. Anyways. So, we did not go up for a melee. That's not what we're trying to do at all. Yet, that is what happened. And you know, if this melee goes bad, and it meant. Um. All right. I guess uh, we're going in. Mount up the cavalry. Send them in. Send them in, send them in, I guess. That's just what we're doing now. But it looks like Ripley probably broke because the initiators of charge, especially when it's you, the human, it's it's unlikely to win. Alright, we'll try to rally here. Ah, we might lose. The more you know, right? Uh, I don't think so. Are these guys routing this cab here? Eh, kind of. Okay, they're running. That turned out to be a bloodier affair than I. I think it was a lot here. Mm. No, it's just that my casualties ended up being higher than they should have. I wonder why after I tried to rally him. I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to get some melee experience, whether we planned it or not. Go ahead and fast forward this. We don't need to watch all this in slow motion here. So who was it that broke? It was Clayton Seniors Clayton Seniors Cav. Ripley's, yeah, they got beat up. That was that was an odd an odd contact there in the corn. Why they didn't just stop and shoot, but it might have been the angles the units took. I don't know. So yeah, I would decrease the distance a bit for capturing. That's very odd. They have me on minor defeat. Well, maybe it will be a minor defeat because of uh, the breaking and stuff like that that we had. I don't know. All right, all it says is the enemy withdrew. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what... All right, it says <laughs> minor defeat. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'll play through this video with, with those settings intact. Um, but yeah, I would probably nurse nurse those along a little bit. Cincinnati. Yeah, I mean, even that attack wasn't even really supposed to happen unsupported, but it did. Alright, done with that, though. 
we are gonna put ourselves on a wild goose chase. Give him river movement. Maybe the same with the Army of Tennessee. I mean, we'll do that. We'll have Savannah Squadron move down. Did I find this? I don't remember. I, I gotta get rid of those monuments too. These things are. Army of Pennsylvania, 15,000. Alright, so we got. Those two are fine. Here, why don't we move? Yeah, you. You. Why don't we take you? And, uh, since you have the perk anyways, we'll just force march over there. Hampton's division. Now, if you didn't already have all your perks, you'd probably also have forced march, but. Alright, maybe these guys will get it. <laughs> Savannah Squadron. Oh. I didn't want to go for the supply depots, but. Nah. What can we assign? Cavalry carbines? Well, I, I got the medium range guns. Cavalry reform. So this would allow me horse artillery. Or I could get full on batteries. I feel like full on batteries is gonna be the better short term move. How much is it? One and a half million military subsidies, it's not too bad. Alright, we'll go with that. Uh, infrastructure reform. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that one. I might. Or I might save up for more industrial subsidies. Alright. No sense in leaving Beauregard out on his own here, so bring him back. found them. They are in an interesting, interesting spot. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Uh, how close are the reinforcements here? Uh, we'll deploy them then. And we'll move these guys, I guess, over here as quick as we can. Yep. Michigan's up there, that was new and different. Savannah Squadron is still poking along. Hampton's division is there. Florida State Militia, why would they turn? I don't get that. That's very strange. Oh, I found him. Alright, we're gonna move. Hold on here. Yeah, we're moving the Army of Tennessee in. Alright, that's fine. What are these numbers look like? We got 20,000, they got 10,000. Okay. Alright, that should be quite a bit more. And I guess we're now gonna fight a battle. 3 to 1 odds. I don't know what happened to them, but I can't really worry about it. Guess we're going back to battle. If they wanna come on in.
So somehow my forces are here. Uh, or at least two thirds of them are. Unfortunately, I must have left Hampton's division in scouting. It's the only thing that makes a little bit of sense. Um, where are they? Then there's a weird crinkle there at the top of the map. Um, the thing I can think of is that that's the, the direction they're supposed to come in. And I don't know how else to show it. This like map is just weird. I did not touch the map textures or anything like that in uh, the campaign files. All right, we don't know. That's that's okay. Uh, but what we will do is try to get out together here. Um, I'm not loving. Oh, I thought it was called Collision. I was like, hmm. So I think we'll just throw them down there. Put them over there. They're not equal, are they? That's three, what is? Mount Lookout, this one is definitely worth more. So this is the only one we really gotta hang on to. Okay, put them there, put them there. Maybe that's not right. There, we'll do something like that, something like that. And uh, let's see, this is the smaller force, so we'll give them the benefit of those parapets. Still got quite a bit left, so I mean, the way I'd normally prefer to do this is just have, make sure most people have at least level one parapets before we give some people level two. I guess that's gonna be as good as it is. Let's go ahead and play. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think I might, pause you while I try to figure out where they are, and uh, this might be a lot of waiting. So, I, I don't know if it's good news, bad news, or whatever it is, but I, I somebody in the Discord was talking about this map, and I, I don't think I've ever played this map. I think I got more than 600 hours at this point. I don't even know if I've ever seen this map before, uh, but it is the quintessential choke point map, and um, we, we're doing a bunch of scouting, not, not too much game of it. Anyways, they crossed over here. This is Carnifex Ferry. They then have to march through the woods to meet up on this road. They get to this road. They come down here. I think you you might be able to get the idea. If not, somebody somebody else will explain it to you. But yeah. Anyways, that's that's that. Uh, kind of waiting for our commands to get back. It looks like they're going to get back. Well, at least one of them's going to get back in time. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Bladding can go here. This bottom can go here. I don't know if that was the sound of Lawton taking artillery or not. Hopefully not. We don't need Lawton up there anyways. So we can move him down and around. Pretty sure this building. See, that's. It's interesting that you can see they're already, I think, actually capping Mount Lookout from here. And they're probably counting Colossong, or whatever it's called, from, from there as well. Uh, but I'm not terribly worried about that at the moment. Uh, all right, we'll move you there. We'll turn you around that way. This guy should be flying through. They are. We don't need you. I don't think we're going to get reinforcements too soon. But I'm trying to keep an eye on this. I mean, it's been, I don't know, four or five hours in game. 
So I think all this is telling me is that the point is contested, which is fine. Um, I think also one of the downsides of having that that really long cap range. I think I think longer is is making it a little more interesting, but it means that they can't. Even, well, no, they are capping. They are capping Colosan or whatever it is. Uh, so that's good for them. All right, bottom's gonna come down here. Smith can get in there. Stuart can get pulled back. Too sure what their plan is from here, but Slack can hang up here and just see if he sees anything. I think Smith is going to have a similar assignment. Withers, Courtney Smith, Preston. Can we actually? I guess we can go in there. So they are somehow count. Capping Mount Lookout. That I'm not. I'm not really understanding. But I certainly think we have more troops here. Unless it's a morale thing. And even then, that doesn't explain it. Huh. Or we really got their numbers wrong. Right, so nine hours for Hampton's division. No, no. So I don't, I don't know why why they're capping, but it's all right. Um, what we may do is move. All of Porterfield up on the left. And here we'll get them down. We'll get that artillery. Detach it from the rest of the formation. And then move the rest of the formation up. These guys have the bombardment perks, so it's one of the few that actually got got a perk. Might be. I don't know if that's the only unit that has a perk, but it might be. Um, all right, we're gonna move. Don't love that, but rest the force up here. I'm trying to stay out of this little. Porterfield is going to move up on the left, so even though it's a problem, we can possibly mitigate it. I just, yeah, I really wish I knew what was capping this, or maybe it's just the side can't have a presence on it at all. I, I don't know. Not even sure where the rest of that force is now. Alright, you all have moved up, that's fine. Certainly can kick them out. So all coffers move in all sorts of weird ways here. Not sure what's up with that. Just trying to get mo most of their force on that side. Yeah, we'll have 
this. Get rid of that. Set those. Okay. I actually have them move up there. We'll have them move up there. Take that fence. Have those guys push up. Uh, we're not going to set our cab in. Well, we're just going to try to not set the cab inside the fence. Move them up a bit to get disheveled. Okay, we'll have those folks go up there. Kick out some skirmishers. Kick out some skirmishers. Kick out some skirmishers. Yeah, I think this. Smarter way to play this is definitely wait for, for reinforcements. But I'm eager to see what happens, and I kind of do want to see just this moves all erratic or what. And I'll try to put people in double quick. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I did not move them double only because right, these guys are the ones who actually need to move them double. I did not want the first move units I I selected to outrun all of their support. There was a sort of method to that madness. I said sort of. No. I guess there's no intermediate position there. They already know to run, that's great. Okay, we're gonna move you up there. Okay, you all need to move up. Re 
call them skirmishers. Same with you. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you need to, to focus on them. I think you guys do as well. Okay, we'll recall skirmishers there. Alright, they need to run like they care. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, that's why. That actually explains it. I'm trying to move those guys up. Get them up. Try to get those guys to fire on them. Or, or Gladden. Yes. Alright, they're staying up there doing their thing. Are you I did also mount the camera, that's why I worried. That's actually kind of a great shot. What's up when you get. Ah, uh, they went to long range. I don't know what happened to these guys. Oh my goodness, they all did. Yeah, that is weird and annoying. that the cap stopped it, it hasn't gone blue actually I wonder if Nightfall is going to save them uh, I wonder if it will nah looks like they uh to go there at least. There. Have them mount up since they're probably going to end up getting in trouble anyways. shouldn't take that long. It might, but it should. I think Nightfall's coming anyways, so. I think that one sprite just went flying. It went somewhere over here. Alright, I digress. Yeah, I guess that's kind of like how the other battles have gone. The capping stuff was weird, but I don't know. Actually, I should not check to see if they got... They did not get any objectives, which they shouldn't because they never had more people. 
on those points than we did. Oh, so they actually lost 2,000. Uh, we'll see how many of those we captured, but... morning our own way. What I, I don't see too much of are good weapons being caught. I mean, this might be like one exception, but two real rifle muskets. I mean, with all the battles we've had and the weapons we've captured, looks like we have enough to maybe, maybe get one brigade equipped. Yeah, very clever rope it up stuff. We're gonna send the Savannah Squad back. Army of Kentucky with 8,000, Army of Kamara, so that's a total of 15,000. Eh, it's good to know. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about leading a kind of punitive raid here. Since they went for uh, Kentucky. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. Panicked. understand why, but Let's see if we can get him to Knoxville. that. Get Beauregard lined up. Make sure that we're out of scouting. Okay, we're not. So that's... All right, we'll get those ready to go. Push there. Ooh, we got a second. slower in some nah. That's cool. I, I I doubt I'll ever use it, but oops. I did not expect to see that. Eighteen thousand of them when I land. Whoops. Not even on the map. Uh, so this seems like one of those. I don't. I don't know. Twenty-five thousand bus. They got no cab. 
you get that much already. I don't know. It just the whole playstyle is kind of we're not really looking for big expensive fights. Yeah, we're gonna withdraw. Uh, and then we'll go back up to St. Louis. Spicy out here in Kentucky. Hmm. Try to set them up there. Inscription introduced. Really? Is that is that actually what I did? Not what I meant to do. Whoops. All right. Uh, we need to start kind of thinking about diplomacy. So that is one of the things I tend to do here in this play. Subsidize agriculture, of course. Alright, it looks like all three are here. Yeah, I don't know why they take that. I mean, they're outnumbered two to one. My whole force is there. I don't know, do we have we have time left in this one to do it. It's gotta be quick if we do. We'll see how it goes. to be steam overlay. Alright, just like that it's gone. Lose this. <laughs> I guess this is what happens. Uh, when you allow for too many of those points to be created. Uh, well, all right then. So I guess that's why they don't normally do that. Well, let them learn. Also, a little concerned. They said that. All my forces were going to be here. Oh, actually, I want to see how quickly I lose this. This has got to turn against me pretty quick. What's worse is that knight's coming. Okay, this should be here within the hour. It's great, because we need all the help we can get. Now, sunken road, Dunkard Church. Sounds right to me. Alright. 
Yeah, maybe we're all coming in from the south down here. I also wonder if we can get the captain there. I will move up and try. Johnston can come over here on the left, do something to this. Sure. All right, so we got we got a victory point. See if we can get the Dunker Church one, which we don't don't really deserve. It. Yeah, it's okay. That's a good point. It's a good point. Just go up a little bit more. Pendleton, just get up there. Whoever you're with. It's also probably not going to get dark for me, but it's just my mom just said it is. Alright. Now it's not that bad. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's so nice when you can lock those together like that. Not that I was trying to, but... That is... Pretty good. Alright. Keep it in there. We'll get up in the sunken roof. And... Over here, I need hmm. Yeah, he can get out. Well, he can get out there. Okay, that's a start. I think we need you. Um, don't know if we'll need it, but we're a salty option. And play. up here on the left with Johnston. Don't need you. Beauregard. No, I don't want to go in the water. And we'll push up to the Dunker Church. Put on a farm. We'll do it quick because otherwise I don't know. Otherwise it's slow, I guess. I don't know what else to say. What are we looking like in terms of objectives? We have eight. They have 31. Okay, so I think... Wow, did they really all just... They really all just pile into that corner. I mean, they're going to have the problem that the, uh, the AI had in the last one, which is that they're outnumbered. So even if they're sitting there, they're probably going to lose the cap on it. The why I could not cap Dunker Church, I don't know. The why I'm not capping it faster, I don't know. Okay, that was you... Nope, that was you getting hit, I guess. I feel like Pendleton always gets focused down. 
every campaign, almost every map, just has a rough time. Alright, drop some shots there. slow down from 10 times speed it seems a bit much plus yeah the real issues is that we got to get over guard up and over I get kind of moved up here so he can help out all right that's done uh, we can kick out the skirmishers I do like watching just how this jumps around. Not that it's particularly good for me, but... While acknowledging that, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a bit hyper. I actually, I don't know. Can't stay the way it is, but... The old way was also really boring. It didn't seem to care too much about terrain. Cared very little about the terrain you held. All right, I have no idea if this is going to matter this time. Maybe we'll do it from the command level. In these guys should uh, should help her cause a little bit, right? Let's say where are these the these are the those are the northwoods. I think these are the uh, must be the west woodland. Look nice. It's time of year. All right. Johnson's getting everyone in the line. That's fine. Or talk is. We're going to kick out skirmishers as well. Then focus on them. Alright, now they've given up their entrenchments for whatever reason. Move them there, and move them there, and move them there. I'm going to have these guys fall in behind them. Move them up to there. I think this is the fence in the more rights map. That's where the that's where the Union spawned them. Okay, we got them out. Good. Push them through there. And then through there. The real challenge is is Beauregard. Show up in time. He may not. Well, let's have some fun and watch. This is still frustrating that I don't have the Dr. Church. Gonna go in just like that. I'm gonna try to get them end on right there. Have those guys worry about that. Have them, we're gonna have them switch their targets pretty soon. Okay, I wanna keep the skirmishers skirmishing. That's why they're there. Good. This is bad. 
castle, we're probably gonna move here. That certainly hurt. Alright, now we're gonna have these guys step up and shoot them. We're gonna have them step up and shoot them. Move up. already have skirmishers out. Ah, they did go back to long range. That is so, so annoying. Jackson. I think the only one in that army that has decent long range weapons is the one who stayed on short range. guy's got to come in and give Lee a little bit of a break here. Yeah, about there. Keep him in there Jones and company gotta move up. That's a pretty big oversight. Alright, let's get Lee down to short range. Let's also just try to move all our scriptures. I guess we can't. Or can't recall all of them or something. Oh yeah, that is a waste, because Johnson has a good range. Alright, let's just move that cab up, I guess. Always got to move, man. I'm still surprised they have to cap though. They don't fit 
Oh no, they hold 25. And I only hold 15. I guess that doesn't make sense. guys have not withered. I guess should not. battery just pulled up and uh, shot him in the face. Alright. Move those two brigades through. I'm not sure what's going to check them. So. Donaldson's guy He is in there. Alright, I guess Steven So that jumped back fairly quickly. Alright, now the attrition seems to be uh, 
having its effect here. That just got to step up and do something here. So is I think that's gonna be it. I don't think there's anybody else here that's standing. We're out of them all. Alright. Major victory, I'd say. 3,500. Alright. How many victories? We got 117, we got 72. Huh. Alright. Well, that is definitely gonna do it for this episode. This is, uh,. And you know what? I think that happened a day or two before winter quarters come up and start taking penalties for engaging and maybe even in moving in, in winter time. So hopefully things will settle down. We can wait for a lot of our orders to come through, wait for some of our subsidies to build up, uh, and try to get our economy in better shape going into 1862. But you know, we're not breaking the bank yet. I think we're pretty close to breaking even. Whoa. Oh, I did not read that. Got 1,800 rifles. Alright. That's fine. It's good. Do you want to find... Oh, maybe it's all a coffer. I'll find somebody who I can give some better rifles to, or at least some rifles to. Uh, what do we have? 3,000 rifle muskets. Alright, then I, if I want to do it again, i got to find another group of noise. 1,500. None of you. Or somebody with less than 2,000. Let's go to a different army. It might have been a mistake last time. Uh, put all those in one army and just holy moly, that is loud. Bra I don't want to get the brag though. I do want to give something to Macintosh. We'll give them the Springfield rifle muskets. Yes, I can give somebody McCullough's. Oh, that's where I just was. No, no. Alright, Clark, I would, I just don't think I have enough. Right? I don't have enough. It's gotta be 1.8. Uh, no, I'm not gonna give Pierce. Honestly, where, where is Pierce? Give me, give me that back. Go home. Forty-seven days. Great. 
see them. Where's my, there's my Florida State Militia. You gotta have somebody here who can take. Apparently I just can't click on anything. <laughs> on berserk. Seriously. Well, I guess it's a good place to stop then. Yeah, might have been playing a little too much for the the system's good. But we're going to withdraw here from Cumberland. And uh, yeah, hopefully the winter kicking in. We just got a good long pause. Any projects here at the end? Uh, not, not sure I want to do weapons production. So I'll hang out, maybe for another episode, and, uh, oh, we're not quite in, into November yet, so, then the, uh, penalties start coming in for, for winter movement. Department of Pennsylvania's on the move, 2,800, Army of Saskatchewan, 1,300, eh, I guess we'll just get back here, get back there, uh, Army of the Potomac, back here. That's okay. It looks like they've mostly withdrawn from here. Alright, they're still going down to Knoxville. That's fine. Alright, folks. It was fun for me. Hopefully it was fun for you. And I uh, hope to have you back in the next one.